A jury is deliberating tonight after closing arguments today in Riverside County's first fentanyl related murder trial. Vincent Romero is also facing drugs and weapons charges in connection with the 2020 death of Kelsey King. News Channel 3's Jake Ingrassi has the latest in the case tonight from inside the courtroom in Murrieta. The second degree murder trial for 34 year old Vincent Romero coming to a close at the Southwest Justice Center in Murrieta Wednesday. As the prosecution attempts to convince a jury, Romero provided a fatal dose of fentanyl to a Temecula woman and should be held responsible for her death. The defendant gambled with Kelsey King's life. She lost. Deputy District Attorney Jerry Fole made the case to jurors that Romero met up with King and got high on fentanyl-laced M30 pills, more commonly known as blues. The two reportedly met beneath Interstate 15 in Temecula in June 2020, crushed up a pill and each snorted half using a straw. Romero passed out and when he awoke hours later, King was still unconscious and cold to the touch. She was frozen in that spot, tumbling over in a praying position, dying before her body barely had a chance to metabolize that drug that he gave her. The prosecution needs to prove that Romero knew fentanyl was dangerous when he gave it to King and that her death was a direct, natural and probable consequence of the fentanyl. An autopsy report says King died from effects of methamphetamine, heroin and fentanyl. And when defense attorney Michael Duncan asked the toxicologist, she reported that any one of those drugs or any combination of them could have been deadly. So was it just the fentanyl? It might have been. And might have been is not the standard of proof in a criminal case in this country. Key to the defense argument is the fact that Romero took the fentanyl too. We know that Vincent took it himself. That's not what you do with something you think will kill you or is likely to kill you or it is probable will kill you. The defense here argues that Romero is guilty of involuntary manslaughter, but not murder. And it's a high burden of proof on the prosecution. This is the first case of its kind to go to trial here in Riverside County, where the defendant is charged with a fentanyl poisoning death. It could set a legal precedent here in California, and DAs up and down the state are keeping a close eye on this case. Jake Ingracia, News Channel 3, Marietta.